Ah, hallelujah. Father, we thank you, Lord. We praise your holy name, O oh God. We thank you for allowing us to come before you this morning. And we come before you with thanksgiving and with praise and with reverence, O oh God. Lord, I ask that you guide us this morning. Ministering angels, Holy Spirit, minister unto us. Yeshua, speak to us as we go through your word this morning. We turn the session over to you, O Lord. Let the words of my mouth and the meditations of our, our hearts, O God, be acceptable in your sight this morning. Because you are our strength and our redeemer. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> so this morning, I just want to take some time for us to just take a journey through God's word. The title of the teaching this morning, and really it's, it's not so much teaching, but just really a bathing in God's word. And I will also, as I go through, is pray and pray God's word. So the title is, um, Do Not Worry, Trust God. And the reason I, I wanted to teach this, and, and again, I always teach what's on my heart, is as I, as I watch what's happening around us <clears throat> and consider you know, what God has showed us about the timing of everything and what things are, are being indicated. You know, I've talked about the seasons. I talked about the timing of God's word and activities and just, um, just looking ahead, that, that strategic foresight. But as things unfold on a daily basis around us, we really have to be centered on one thing. And that one thing is the word of God. I ask myself, who can we trust? <laughs> and really and truly, the only person we can trust is God. So with all the craziness that is happening within us, outside of us, around us, we have to come back to center and to sanity. Okay. So this is what this today's um, session is about. Just really going through the pure word of God and bathing ourselves in it blocking out everything else and trust God. So the first scripture I want to start with is um, Philippians 4 and 6. The word of God says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. So basically, don't worry, don't fear, don't dread, but come to the Lord in prayer and let our requests be known to him. And so as I, as I thought, I said, Lord, what are my requests? And so I've got a few things that I, I bulleted. And so I wanna take a few minutes and, and in your own space, wherever you are, 
go with me before the Lord and make your requests known to him. Abba, Father, you are so good to us. You love us so much. You tell us in your word not to be anxious, not to be fearful, not to have dread, not to worry about anything. But, but just like a good father, you say, come to me. Come to me, talk to me, tell me what you need. Give thanksgiving, sit with me, reason with me, child, my daughter, my son. And Father, this morning, according to your word, I come to you and here are my requests, my supplications, oh God. Lord, in this season of our lives, Lord, I ask you for wisdom, oh God. I ask you for discernment, oh Lord. I ask you for perpetual health, oh God. I ask you for provisions, oh Lord. You see my areas of lack, Lord. You know my areas of lack, Lord. So Lord, as you promised in your word in this sixth year, that you showed us according to Leviticus 25, Lord, that you will provide a threefold blessing, Lord God. So with that, there is expectation, oh God. And in the name of Jesus, I receive those provisions right now. Lord, I ask you for peace for shalom, for wholeness, oh God. Lord, I ask you for protection, Lord God, as I walk through the valley of the shadow of death in my life. Lord, as I wake up this morning, as I walk around my home, Lord God, as I go up and down stairs, oh God, as I get in my car, O oh Lord, as I go from point A to point B, O oh Lord, I ask you, Lord, to place angels at the four corners of my life. With swords drawn, a hedge of protection, Lord God, around me and my family, my household, my job. Lord, I ask you for a helper, Lord God. Lord, at times it is difficult to do things on my own, Lord God. Send help, O oh God. Send an etzer, O oh God. Lord, I ask you for a kinsman redeemer. Lord, that helper, someone to pay a bill, Lord God, to see me on the street, Lord God, and say, here, I purchased this for you. Lord, we have needs in this time, oh God. And according to your word, Lord, we've presented them before you, oh Lord, and we will not worry we will not fear. Matthew 6, 25 to 34. 
Therefore, I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more value than they? Which of you by worrying can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you? O ye of little faith. Therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat? What shall we drink or what shall we wear? For all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Father God, we hear your word, O oh Lord, and we will not worry. Lord, as your word says that you provide for the birds of the field and the birds of the air. Lord, when I wake up in the mornings and I hear the birds sing, they are praising you, O oh Lord. They are not worrying. Their only purpose, O oh God, is to give thanksgiving to your name. And Lord, right now, I give thanksgiving and praise and worship to you, O oh Lord, knowing that you are a promise keeper knowing that your word will go forth and will not come back void. Knowing, oh God, that when you say to your children, fear not, worry not, that you are making provisions for us, oh God. Knowing that you have everything under control knowing that our command is to seek first you, O oh God, and your kingdom, Lord God, and your righteousness, O oh Lord, and everything that we hope for and desire and that we need. These things, Lord God, will be provided unto us. Father God, we thank you, O oh Lord. Psalm 46, 1 through 2, says, God is our refuge and strength, a very pleasant, present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea. Lord, under the pinions of your wings, O oh God, Jehovah, Yeshua, we take refuge and are strengthened. You are present, ever present, when we are in trouble. And therefore, Lord, we will not fear. Psalm 46 and 10, be still, be quiet, 
relax, God's word says, and know that you are God. Lord, your word continues to say that you will be exalted among the nations and you will be exalted in the earth. And Lord God, because we are your children and we know that you are God, you are King of kings, you are Lord of lords, you are God above all who claim to be God. We will be still in your presence, O oh Lord. Lord, your name is ex exalted among the nations. So no matter where we are, O oh God, you are still on the throne. No matter what the earth is doing, Lord God, whether it be people or animals, Lord God, or the things that you created in this earth, you are God. You are the I am. So we will relax. We will be quiet. We will be still in your presence, oh God. Trust God. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust. Be secure. Feel safe in the Lord with all of our hearts. Our hearts are the seat of our emotions and passions. It is a seat of our courage. It is a seat of our appetites. So Lord, according to Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, Lord, we trust you because we know only you, O oh Lord, can we trust and you will not fail us. And we will do it with all our emotions and our passions and our courage and our appetites, Lord God. And Lord, according to your word, your instructions, you also tell us in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, do not lean onto our own understanding. Do not lean onto our, to, onto our own discernment. But to do one thing, to acknowledge, to acknowledge you, O oh God, in whatever we do, wherever we go, O oh Lord, to acknowledge you, O oh Lord. And what is the promise that you've given us, Lord? That you shall direct our path. So Lord, in areas where we need to make decisions, O oh God, where we need to make decisions, O oh God, where we need to make decisions, O oh God, we are going to trust you. We're going to feel safe and secure, Lord God, that you are going to guide and guard our path. Lord, I asked in the beginning, Lord, for discernment and your word, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, Lord God, just gave the answer, Lord God. We have to lean on you and not our own understanding. We have to acknowledge you, O oh God. Psalm 37, 4 through 5 tells us to delight ourselves in the Lord. And you, God, you will give us the desires of our heart. We are to commit our ways to you, O Lord God, and trust in you, and you will act, O God. Thank you for your answer, O Lord. Thank you for allowing us to know, Lord God, what we are to do, Lord God, for you to act in our favor, O God. Right now, in the name of Yeshua, 
we commit commit our ways O oh lord god to you we trust in you O oh lord we trust in you father god psalm 33 20 through 22 says our soul waits for the lord he is our help and our shield for our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. So Lord, right now I call upon your names because your word says that we are to trust in your holy name. I call upon right now Elohim, God, the mighty creator. I call upon El Roy, God who sees me. Lord, I know you see me. You see us, oh God. You know, you are the all-knowing, all-seeing, oh Lord God. I call upon El Shaddai, God Almighty. I call upon El Olam, the everlasting God, the eternal God. I call upon Jehovah Jireh, the Lord who provides. The Lord will provide. I call upon Yahweh, Lord, I am submitted to you, O God. You are my Lord. I am in your hands, O God. I commit my life to you. I commit my way to you, O Lord. I, I call upon Adonai, Lord, Master. I, like Paul, O oh Lord God, desire and submit to be your bondservant, Lord God. I submit my ways to you, O oh Lord. You are my master. Help me to be an obedient servant to you, O oh Lord God. Help me to be a committed servant to you, O oh Lord God. I call upon Yahweh Rophe, the Lord who heals. From the top of my head to the tip of my toes, O Lord God. For every cell and organ, Lord God, which you made, Lord, that is out of alignment with your initial purpose. Lord, I call that those things come back into alignment every joint, every bone, every blood cell. I speak death right now to arthritis. I speak death right now to cancer in the name of Jesus. I speak death right now to mental health instability. And I speak your name, Lord God, Jehovah Rapha. I call upon Jehovah Nisi, the Lord is my banner. Lord, in situations, Father God, where I need victory, O oh Lord, I call upon your name as the victorious banner, Lord God. O oh Lord. Hallelujah. I call upon the Lord of the consuming fire. I call upon the Holy One of Israel. I call upon the Lord of peace, Jehovah Shalom. I call upon the Lord of hosts, Jehovah Sabahos, Lord God, where there are situations, Lord God, those that are current and those are to come, Lord God, where I need the army of hosts, the army of angels to battle for me, O oh Lord God. 
right now on this day, Lord God, I speak your name in those situations, Lord God. Take me out of the battle, O oh Lord God, and send your forces ahead of me. Send your forces in the situation, Lord God. Cripple the enemy, Lord God. And I wave the banner, oh Lord God, of victory in those situations, Lord God, even before those situations come or attempt to come right now. I rebuke them in the name of Yeshua. To the Lord of my rock, you are my rock, Lord God. I call upon you and I trust you, Lord God. I trust you. The Lord said, according to Isaiah 26, 3 through 4, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. Lord, I trust you forever because you are the only stable thing in my life, oh God. You are that rock that I stand on when the sands below me are shifting, when the waves crash, the waves of despair, the waves of chaos, the waves of confusion, I stand on the Lord, on Yahweh, on Yeshua. You alone are everlasting. From day to day, O oh God, in these times of trouble and chaos and confusion, O oh Lord God, I thank you for being the rock, the, the, the one thing, the one person, the one surety that I can trust in knowing that your promises, your promises of protection, of healing, of provision is true. Knowing that when you tell us not to worry, to rest, to be quiet, knowing that you say you are Abba, you are Father, that you are a good father, knowing that when you say that you are Lord, you are master, knowing that you say to us, don't worry about a thing, knowing that you say the birds who, yes, you created father, but you created us above those things. You created us to have dominion over those things. And Lord, you say they don't worry about a thing. So Lord, why should I worry about a thing? I have to trust you. I am honored to trust you. I am honored to not have to worry about a thing, Lord God. But to do the thing you ask me to do is to seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, O oh Lord. Lord, we honor you. We are humbled in your presence, oh God. We are thankful, Lord God, that we have you as father. We have you as protector. We have you as provider. You will never leave us nor forsake us. Those are your promises, Lord God. And Lord, as I look through my life, you've protected me in 
times when I was near death, in times when I had nothing, oh God, you provided. In times when I was sick, oh God, you healed me. Oh Lord, hear my prayers. Oh Lord, I honor you, oh Lord. There's not enough words I can speak, Lord God, to give thanksgiving, oh Lord. Hallelujah, oh Lord. I am honored to be considered by you, oh Lord God. I am honored to be loved by you, oh God. And Lord, as I turn this session back over, your people have spent time coming before you, O oh Lord, in supplication and thanksgiving, O oh Lord, and with expectation, Lord God, as you spoke to us from your throne room in your word, O oh God. As you minister to our hearts and our minds, O oh Lord God. As you built our faith, Lord God, because our faith comes by hearing. And hearing your word, O oh God. Lord, I thank you. I ask you to keep us in perfect peace as we go throughout our day, Lord God. I ask you to keep us covered under your wings as your word promises, oh Lord God. I ask you to keep our minds clear, our eyes open or heightened discernment today, oh Lord God, in every situation and decision that we have to make today, oh Lord God. Lord, we honor you. We praise your holy name. And I thank you, Lord, on bended knees, oh God. Amen. Turn the session back over to you, sister. <laughs>